next battle. Next battle. Just unfathomable dangers dwell within Bray Wyatt. And it seems as though Bray has slowly been losing the battle to contain that danger. Yeah, that's a frightening thought for the entire WWE Universe, including Wyatt himself. The animal has arrived. And his opponent from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, the Animal Batista. This should be an interesting match. Bray Wyatt is a real twisted man and a lover of mind games, both in and out of the ring. Yeah, you never quite know which way is up or down when it comes to Wyatt, and that's how he likes it. His mind, it, it's like an abstract drawing. I was going to say like a labyrinth, but I understand your point, Byron. If Wyatt has his way, this match will be more psychological warfare than anything else. But it would be only natural for any man to be a little less sure of himself standing opposite Batista. A man six foot six, 290 pounds of pure aggression. Well, the man likes to ask if he has your attention now. If he doesn't have his opponent's attention, well, it's safe to say he'll have it soon. What's coming next? Suplex. Very nice. Heading up, he's thinking big. From the top, all the way to the outside. Just crashing down with high impact. Big forearm. Batista looking a little less sure of himself than he usually does. This is certainly not what he wants. Yeah, that's why it's already hard at work melding the mind games with physical attacks. Whoa, stiff headbutt. And now Batista's being dismantled. Things can get grim in a hurry if Batista doesn't turn this around. Despicable. That was simply a despicable display we just saw. Caught in a bad position here. into the corner.
This superstar can now enjoy his victory. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, no, yeah. not the steel chair. Come on. Oh, oh my stop God. Him. This is absolutely heinous. Totally uncalled for. He's out of control. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. A woman who has devoted her career to elevating the women's division. Arguably the hardest working competitor in the women's division. And she's also a leader, and she's a trailblazer. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte. Uh, Corey, I'm sure you would agree that no one makes quite an entrance like Charlotte Flair. I completely agree, Saxon, because every time she's in the ring, it is a spectacle to behold. Charlotte Flair competed in the first women's match to main event WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair. As physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. Flair Lynch, a friendship that's gone up in smoke in recent memory. Really, the dismantling of it was the springboard for Becky's rise in WWE. Now, this whole situation has eaten Charlotte up alive. The Becky Lynch story wasn't supposed to happen in Charlotte's mind. Becky Lynch wasn't supposed to be a success story. Hoping to end it here! This is it! Kick out just before two. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. The front face lock applied. Nice suplex. And Flair gets that turn back on her. Okay. Becky connects. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Uh oh. Suicide dive. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And an elbow drop to the arm. Considering that Charlotte and Becky have been together from NXT to WrestleMania, you'd have to think that each has insight into how the other operates. That's actually a smart observation from you, Saxton. I agree. That intimate knowledge will be key. It's just a matter of which woman does a better job of using that knowledge to get a hit. looking for a big time reaction from the WWE Universe. And an elbow drop to the arm. Count out maybe imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Reversal. Can she capitalize? There it is. The big splitter. She's starting to look concerned. And back into the ring she goes. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Oh. Got the underhook. My standing backbreaker and takedown. Charlotte demanding. Refusing to let into her head. The disarm her. Man, she's got. over. Oh, the 
champion. Oh, no, with the title right across the face. That was completely uncalled for, was it? And you can feel the electricity in here for this match. The WWE fans on. Well, look, right in front of us. No, no, no. Turn around. Turn around. From out of the WWE Universe comes their opponent, who now has a clear advantage, and the bell hasn't even rung yet. Well, we're going to start the match like this? That's a deep and cowardly attack. Oh, this, he's going for the pin. An emphatic victory. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! All it took was that unexpected sneak attack, but with that tipping the scales, they capture the win. A win is... But they don't do shit!